Y'all remember what that XR 250R looked like when I first got it? How do you like it now? Here, this is, that's me dropping the mic. So let's just uh, walk around it. And you know, the theme of this video, that previous video where I kind of revealed the bike, what'd I call that one? Get you a dual sport for $999? So this is that same bike. This uh, theme of this video is like, hey, for like a couple hundred bucks more, it doesn't have to look so homely. And I showed this to CDS feller and his comment was, man, it's like one of those movies where they take the homely nerdy chick, give her a makeover, and then she's a hottie. That's a good way to put it. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go over real quick what I did and uh, tell you what things cost. And, uh, you know, I, I was just kind of experimenting uh, just so I could come up with some ideas that I could share with you guys. I, I'm not gonna keep it exactly like this. Um, this is just the first thing I tried. And, uh, you know, this is how it turned out. So let's just go front to back, okay. Front fender. Um, that is a front fender off of a CRF 450X 06. Yeah. And uh, I think it looks a lot better than that 97XR fender. Um, I had to put a couple of washers, extra washers right here, so it would be angled right. And uh, I had to trim the bottom. Uh, just so you all know, if you ever do put a, a newer fender on an older air-cooled bike, Take note where the old fender cuts off and make sure it doesn't go below that. Otherwise, you're going to be cutting off air to cool your air-cooled engine. All right, so uh, next thing, the headlight. This headlight was the most expensive thing. This whole thing is one unit. It's uh, 60 bucks. Um, Rocky Mountain ATV. There's a link in the description, as always. Um, ah, you know, it worked out okay. Um, it comes with, like, three different ways to mount it. It comes with, like, one that mounts it closer, which is just doesn't have this plastic piece and then one that mounts it further away, and then this one. I tried all three. That one seemed to look the best to me. I could be wrong. I put some new handguards on it. Didn't need it. I just did that because, um, you know, everything else was nice and new and clean, and I didn't want to leave the chewed-up handguards on there. Those are uh, Tusk Deflex handguards from Rocky Mountain ATV. I have them on one of my other bikes. They've done well for me. Uh, you might notice there's no paint on them. Usually it says in white paint right there, Deflex. Um, acetone. I just put some acetone on a paper towel, wiped it off real good. Gas tank, that used to be a uh, white gas tank. I found a red gas tank on Craigslist. Um, anything 01 and newer had red, and the older stuff was white. I don't really like white bikes, except for Motonocity. Motonocity's WR250X, that is a good looking white bike. That's the only one. I don't like white bikes other than that. Call me racist. Um, so anyways, I got the red one, and uh, you know, it was a little bit uh, beat up, scratched up. I uh, just kind of sanded it real good, and polished it real good, got it looking real nice. And then, you know, I got the color back, but it still wasn't shiny. Um, you guys want a tip for uh, making plastics, especially those old gas tanks, shiny? Mop and glow. Mop and glow, I just put like a whole bunch of mop and glow on there. Rub it down real good. Uh, seat cover. I just went looking for seat covers, OEM, non-OEM. I was mainly just looking for one that had the right mixture of black and red and white. And uh, I came up with that one. Uh, it was on eBay. It was 35 bucks. Um, did I tell you the prices of all these, by the way? $20, $60. These are $50, but you don't actually have to have those. I'll put new grips on there. Those are $10. Uh, $20 on Craigslist for the gas tank. $35 for the seat cover. Um, let's see, the, those um, side panels. So those are the side panels that came with. Um, I'm not done with those. I'm get, I've ordered some new ones. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more. I just took the uh, old ones and painted them red just to see what it looked like. It's not going to hold up. Um, I did trim them, and uh, whatever I put on there, I'm going to trim the exact same way. Um, I don't I don't really like the big white number plates. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't racing. Just it looks weird to me. So I kind of like the supermoto look on those side panels a little better. Same for the uh, rear fender. I like supermoto rear fenders. Um, so the rear fender, I want a black. It was really hard to find a black fender. I kind of like the uh, stock XR fenders. I think they look great. However, that brake light wasn't bright enough. CDS player said that uh, it, was, it wasn't safe. He didn't feel comfortable with me having the brake light the way I was. So he wanted me to get like a, a better brake light. So I got uh, the Tusk brake light. What are those, like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that? 
anyways, I needed to have an MX style um, fender to mount that to. There is uh, one company that makes them specifically for XR. Um, they are, was it Mir, I think? Meyer, something like that. Um, I looked at them, they looked a little too bulbous. Didn't like it. Um, what I really like is the um, Japanese uh, Supermoto Fender. Um, and I think that is just a knockoff of one of those. I just found a black fender on eBay that looked good in the picture, ordered it, got it. Once I got it, it kind of looked exactly like what the uh, what the uh, Japanese Supermoto fenders look like to me. I uh, would have loved to have just gone to Rocky Mountain and ordered at OEM, but they, they just don't offer it. And, um, you know, this was the only way I could find uh, to get the fender that looked just like that, was getting it shipped from China over eBay. Eh, not a big fan of China, but eh. And we got us a burrito tube right there, kind of a hermit staple. Uh, I got a whole video about putting on the burrito tube, and there's a link to that in the description if you want to see about that. Shut the hell up, I'm making a video over here. <sighs> what else? Oh, graphics. Yeah, the graphics kind of like Defender. I looked at lots of things to find the graphics, and uh, a lot of the XR graphics, even the OEM ones, there's like a really small sticker on the tank, and it just looks weird to me. So I had a hard time finding a graphics package that had the colors I wanted, was the size and shapes that I wanted, and was perforated. See, it's perforated. Fumes come out through that tank, so if the sticker's not perforated, it's just going to bubble up. It's still not going to last on there that long, at least compared to the other graphics, but it'll go a lot longer if it's perforated. So I finally found a sticker on eBay that looked good, that was perforated. Again, it came from China. I think it's a knockoff, um, but eh, that's what I could find. So, and I put the, I put like almost all the stickers, that, that Honda sticker came in that same package, the Airbox sticker came in that same package. I put them all on there, I don't know, like, I might take the ones off the fenders. Um, we'll see. I did paint a few parts, aside from the side panel. Side panels is temporary, but permanently, this was uh, a gray Airbox. I got a black one on Craigslist, got it home, and all the tabs to mount it to the frame were actually busted off, so I couldn't use it. Uh, so I painted that one with Krylon Fusion. And um, and then I used uh, paint for uh, auto paint for the frame right here because the frame was sticking out, and this was gray, and it was clashing a little bit too much with that black plastic. So I painted that. So those are the only parts that I painted. Um, you know, and I I did an okay job cleaning up the motor. Um, put some degreaser on it. it. Smelled like kerosene, probably because it was made mostly of kerosene. Uh, let the degrees for sit, and then I just went at it with a scotch Bright pad really good, and then hosed it down. Um, it, I need to make another pass on that motor and clean it up a little bit more, but it's a lot better than it was. And uh, what else? Oh, I took the accordion fork guard thingies off from the seal savers. Not happy with the seal savers. Here, you can guys can see why. See that right there? See how the, the little thing is coming off, but it's not coming all the way off. I, I want it to either stay on or come all the way off instead of just leaving that mess there. So, um, unfortunately, those fork tubes are like 41 millimeters, and Seal Saver is the only one I could find that actually fit that fork tube size. I think I should have got the longer ones, but man, I'd, I'd love to get just some knockoff brand on purpose on those so that I don't have the stupid crummy looking uh, company name rubbing off on it. Anyways, all right, well, let's go ride it. We gonna get first kick. Gotta find that top dead center first, right? Now we got it. First kick. Really enjoying riding this bike today. Torquey little 250. Well, this is my uh, second makeover that I've done of a dirt bike. The first one was a DRZ400, and uh, we'll put a link up for that video if y'all want to check that out. <laughs> but you know, the theme of this video is uh, you know just if you want to put just a little bit of money into making an old dirt bike look really awesome and really new, it can be done. And you know, for me, I I have a lot more fun riding them when they look good. I know not everybody's that way, but I am. There's when I when I look at a dirt bike, I just want it to yell at me. Do it, you know. And uh, 
I think I finally got this bike to that point. And it didn't cost me that much money. And you know, I didn't have to do all that at once. I could have been more patient and I could have um, you know, done it for cheaper if I would have found more stuff on Craigslist or waited for sales and things like that. So we got one uh, video left to do about this bike and that's uh, after I've had a, a whole summer at least to ride it and maintain it then uh, I'm going to go ahead and do kind of like a full review of it and what I think of it, how it compares to the other bikes that I ride. But uh, yeah, this is probably it for information about this bike for now. But really this video, like this applies to all kinds of dirt bikes, trail bikes, dual sports. Uh, any old bike that you get that was made in the, uh, in the uh, 90s or 2000s, um, you, you can do this to that. You can like get a bike that's, you know, maybe you're going to get it for a deal because it's a little bit neglected, a little bit dirty, a little bit scratched up. And, you know, plastics are cheap, man. Ch plastics are cheap. You can paint a few pieces here and there that are hard to find or that you just don't want to bother purchasing right up front. And uh, clean it up really good. And, uh, you know, s swap out some of them fenders for some more modern looking fenders. I think that's really the biggest thing that's changed in styling on dirt bikes in the last 25 years is the fenders. So you put newer fenders on them and it looks like a newer bike. So uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Uh, this bike now is about a $1,200 bike. Ah, I think it looks pretty awesome. I think it rides pretty awesome for a $1,200 bike. Um, I think it's hard to beat for that kind of money. So if you're, uh, if you're a beginner and uh, you're just kind of looking for some place to start or uh, uh, maybe uh, you just uh, want a good buddy bike and you just want something that's going to look nice and ride nice for your friends to ride along with you. I think it's a good option. All right, y'all have a good week. Over and out. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Those actions go a long way to helping me out and to encouraging me to make more videos. Links are in the description for how you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and other sites and apps. There's also links in the description for any products that I may have featured or mentioned in this video. There's also links in the description for any writer. You know what? There's a bunch of links in the description. Just go look at them. Y'all have a good week. Over and out.